so super super exciting day it's something we haven't talked about yet but recently we have really been thinking about getting another dog we uh, just think it'd be the perfect time with covid we have nothing but time to train it take care of it and you know really get like it used to like the kids and just potty training like we have the time for it we're both home so we actually found one that we loved and we contacted the people we had a phone interview today and we are officially getting a puppy and i am so excited um she is the cutest thing i have ever seen um, we are going to get a golden doodle because one, I love goldens. I just love that breed. Um, we did have a golden. Um, I don't know if you guys remember Duchess. Um, and we're just ready again for yeah. a puppy and a dog. I love that the kids are going to be able to grow up with the dog. Um, so I'm super, dog. super, super, super excited. Dog. Yeah, are we getting a dog? dog. What? Okay. But, so, we're not exactly sure when we are getting her because she is already older than eight weeks. Um, so, but she's in Indiana, I believe. So we have to get her shipped to us. So there's two ways they can do that. Either like the typical way which is cargo or they have a concierge service which we would prefer but because of the holidays coming up um we are going to hopefully see if we can wait till after thanksgiving since we're going to my family's house but we haven't told ashley yet and so she's coming right now i'm so excited yeah we're gonna get ice cream after the doctors asha guess what we're getting a pup We're gonna get a puppy. I going to call my puppy Pip. Pip? What about Penny? I like Penny. And I like Pip. Oh, okay. Well, we're just gonna have to take a vote on it. Are you so excited? Yeah! <laughs> Hello, everybody. We are back with an update on our puppy. Are we getting a puppy? Yeah. What are we gonna name her? Penny Pip. Penny Pit. So we just got confirmation that we get to pick her up in a couple of days. Yeah. So and our dog going to go friend on our front door. No, mommy and daddy have to go pick her up. No, in our our front door. The front door? Yeah. Okay. So Will and I will go pick up the puppy. We are gonna have someone watch the kids. That way we can surprise them. But we do have puppy toys. Some toys with some training bills. What we got that? this. It looked bigger when I ordered it online. Um, and then like a little rope toy. This also looked bigger online, so I don't know how big she is. She might choke on that, so we'll have to see. But I got these since we let them to the apartment. She'll be able to notify us when she has to go pee. Got some puppy pads. I also ordered some stuff off of Chewy yesterday. Yeah, we had to buy some more. Yeah, we weren't expecting her to come until after Thanksgiving just because we were going to go to my parents' house, but because she is a fast growing puppy. <laughs> They said if they wanted like yeah. the concierge service where they fly with her, that she would have to come a lot sooner than we anticipated. So we ordered stuff off with Chewy. Mm. It should be getting here before she does. So I'm so excited. I'll keep you guys updated when we go pick her up. We are on our way to pick up our puppy. Currently driving. Kids are with um, their Nana, which is my best friend from high school. I don't know what they do. Sorry, shaky video. But they, the puppy has already landed. Um, and the person who flew with her texted me. And they're like 20 minutes before they're supposed to land. So, <laughs> But we're almost there. So it should be fine by the time they go through everything. Probably do the pet relief. And 
picked her up. Look at this cutie pie. Look at her. Oh my god, she's so soft. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at her, guys. She is the sweetest thing. So soft and the cutest. Oh my god, I'm dying. A lot cuter in person. So much cuter in person than in the picture they had in the of picture, her. She was really cute. She, she was, was really cute. Really yeah, cute. she was really cute in the pictures. Don't get us wrong. That is why we picked her. But seeing her in person and just. Oh my god, she is so much cuter than I could have ever imagined. Oh my god, look at her. Go get a picture of the scene. Look at Penny. This is little Penny. She Penny. is she's a standard golden doodle. And she's so beautiful. Oh my god. Say hi to the people, Penny. Say hello. Look at your color. Oh my god, look at these little paws. She's like, she's like on the seat. She's on the seat. Oh. You guys, I am literally dying with how cute she is. The kids are gonna freak out. Penny, don't worry, we're gonna get home super fast. Yes, bug. Yes. Oh my god, yes, look baby. at this. Oh, sweetheart. she's giving me kisses. Oh yes, my baby. gosh. Yes, baby. We've never experienced getting like a pet from out of state before. No. This is our first experience. You're from Indiana. With, buddy. Yeah, she's from Indiana from a place called Family Bread Puppies. They are seriously the sweetest people ever and mm -hmm. like made this whole experience super easy for made us. An interview from them. And just yeah, like... they did like a phone interview and then they sent us updates and then they handled all the flights and everything. They handled everything and it was such a breeze. Like I can't like, I think I'm just in shock. I still can't believe we like have a puppy here. Like we literally did the phone interview Tuesday and it's Sunday and we have her like five days later. I told you the concierge would be super I mean, it was pricey, yeah. but... but oh my it. god, she is just so chill. That's what everyone has said about her. They said she's the chillest, like, sweetest thing. And I think she'll just be so perfect for our family. I cannot wait to show her off to the kids. They're they gonna said that freak. she didn't even cry. Yeah, they said she didn't cry on the plane. Even the um, lady who flew with her said she had no accidents in her house. So, oh my god, this is going to be so exciting. We will show the reveal to the kid, or we'll, I guess, I don't know. We'll show you guys when we show her off to the kids. Show her this sweet little penny. We home in 30 minutes. <laughs> Alright guys, just took her pee outside. Now we're going to try and take her inside. Or see if she'll poop anywhere. Come on, penny. Come on, Penny. Perfect time. Yeah. Atticus just woke up. <laughs> Hi, Mom. Hi. <laughs> Look who it is. Who is Wolfie? <laughs> Wolfie, look. <laughs> Come sit with mommy or daddy. Here, come Look, maybe you should sit on the ground. Get to her. Hello, everybody. So, update. Last night, honestly, wasn't that rough with Penny, but it was rough with Wolfie. I think he's getting sick. It was a rager. And Penny actually did pretty good. She slept in her crate from like 10 
to like 11.30, oh, 12.30, like 12. 12. So like two hours. And her crate, here's Asher. Asher is, Asher's being weird. She's scared, but she's excited. She likes her, but like she's scared because Penny does jump up and um, she kind of does, she's teething. So she's trying to nip at them, which is not good. So we're trying to work on that with her, but Penny actually did really good. She So at 12.30, I took her to the bathroom and then I tried to get her back in her crate. Um, and then I got her back in her crate around 1 a.m. And she slept from 1 a.m. till about 4. Oh, no, hold on. It's to 4, 4.30. Um, but that time, from 1 to 4.30, Wolfie was tossing and turning all night. He was, like, so restless. No, okay, it was about, like, 3. Like, 3, 3. No, it's 4.30. It's 3.30. Because that's when Wolfie, I looked over and Wolfie was, like, freaking out. Remember I was with Helen and he was freaking out? Uh -uh. I swear it was four. Whatever, whatever time it was. So she's up for another like two to three hours. And then I got up. And then I took her out, put her back in the crate, and she got up. Around, no, you got up around five thirty. Five. I remember. It's like close to six, probably. Okay, so. whatever. We don't know what time it was. Okay, it was probably like another one to two hours. Um, that she slept in the crate and then we just woke up for the day and currently she's sleeping Over there somewhere. I don't know She's, Behind couch. she's sleeping. We took her well, on a car like, drive she's also like on East Coast time. I think. Yeah Yeah, she is from Indiana um, Poor thing. She has diarrhea, but that's pretty common um, especially because we've introduced some treats and so she's getting used to that. Her tummy's getting used to that. And then also just the I stress, I guess, of I flying and all that fun stuff. So she did pretty well. She does not like the treat, but we're working on it. We're working on a lot of things. Not sponsored, but best treats ever. But we're thinking of sending her to training camp just because... I'm in school. The kids are making it really hard to train her because they're so uh -uh. excited and they just want to be around and they also want to it. learn how to train her. So it's really hard. So we're in the yeah, discussion okay. of sending her to a, like a board Mama. and train facility, which is like 10 minutes from our house. Um, my sister actually used them for her Rottweiler and she said it. It was like the best experience and her dog is pretty well trained. Now, I don't think she's followed up with the training, but huh. he does really, really well. So I think that would be really benef beneficial for her and for us because I want to give her the undivided training attention she needs, but it's really hard with these kids who just want to play with her and they also want to be like, sit, yes, like <laughs> it's hard. So we're trying to figure that out. Um, well, yeah, she did pretty well last night, huh? Yeah. Did Penny sleep good in her crate? Yeah. Yeah. Kinda. What? Kinda. I mean, it, she's just got to get used good. to the crate. We're still working on that. We didn't work on that when we got home with her, so it was kind of rough. But I was able to lure her in and, you know, get her to sleep a few times. I just wish Wolfie would have slept in between... <laughs> Like one, cup. yeah. I wish Wolfie would have slept be during the longer period she was in her crate, because I don't think I would be as tired. I think I maybe got three hours of sleep last night, um, and that was like split up. Like I was asleep with Wolfie, but he kept tossing and turning, and I was like, "No, why are you doing this to me?" But yeah, we'll keep you updated. We took her on a car ride. She didn't like. She was sad at first, like whimpering. I don't know if she was sad. I just, I don't, I don't know puppy language. I don't remember puppy language. But um, then towards the end of the car ride, she fell asleep. So she's doing pretty good. Trying to get her used to the car. Try to figure out the kids. Ashley just, Ashley's just scared. She's terrified, right? I don't know if she's terrified. She's Yeah. She's she just like doesn't monkey. she doesn't like when Mom? she jumps, which is understandable. Yes. Mom, can I say bye? Yeah. Bye.